All right, for example three, the objective is to solve the following word problem. So a top drug company has just invented a new colon drug. They can produce one milliliter for $7.35. How much will it cost them to produce two kiloliters of this colon drug? So it's a pretty simple problem here. Let's just get a little highlighter going. And again, a top drug company has just invented a new colon drug and they can produce one milliliter, okay, one milliliter for $7.35. So then our question would be, how much will it cost them to produce two kiloliters of this colon drug? Okay, two kiloliters of this colon drug. Pretty simple question again. If they can produce one milliliter and again for seven dollars and thirty-five cents and we want to know how much it's going to cost them to produce two kiloliters of this colon drug so how much for two kiloliters so it's basically going to be a two-step procedure to solve this. And we're going to go from two kiloliters, two kiloliters, to an equal amount of milliliters. So we'll put a space here and then milliliters. So how do you convert from two kiloliters to milliliters? Well, we use a prefix chart. So basically, we go down to a prefix chart and we find kilo and we find milli. Okay, and we're going to go from kilo to milli. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six places to the right. And so we just match that up here. So we take this number two. Then we just move the decimal six places to the right. So we're going to have to add some zeros here. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then finally six. Okay, so you're going to end up with two million milliliters is equal to two kiloliters. Okay. So now we know that each milliliter costs seven dollars and thirty-five cents. So all we need to do is multiply 2 million, 2 million times 7.35. That's going to give us the cost for 2 kiloliters. So 7.35 times 2 million. So we can definitely do this without setting up a vertical multiplication. Let's start out by ignoring this decimal here. Pretend we just have 735. And then we're going to multiply this by 2. Okay, we're going to use our method where we attach our trailing zeros in the end. So 735 times 2, well, 700 times 2 is 1400. 35 times 2 is 70. So this would be 1470 or 1470. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 trailing zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six trailing zeros. And then we have one, two decimal places between the factors. So this is going two places to the left. We'll just erase those zeros there, put some commas in, and we end up with 14,700,000. So that's how much it's gonna cost for two kiloliters of this drug. So how much will it cost them to produce two kiloliters of this colon drug? It will cost $14,700,000. Okay, for example, four, the objective is to solve the following word problem. So Jason bought 14 ounces of spices for $3 per pound. How much did Jason spend? So this is a very simple problem. Let's get the highlighter going real quick. So again, Jason bought 14 ounces 
of spices for $3 per pound. And then the question, how much did Jason spend? So this is a simple unit conversion problem that we need to set up. And basically, we need to figure out, well, if Jason bought 14 ounces, it would equal how many pounds? That's what we need to know. Because we're given the cost in price per pound, right? $3 per pound. So once we figure out how many pounds we have, we can just multiply this amount by three. All right, that's gonna give us how much Jason spent on these spices. So how many ounces are in a pound? Well, 16 ounces equals one pound. So to go from ounces to pounds, we have 14 ounces here. Remember, you wanna put the units you want to end up with in the numerator. Okay, so we want to end up with pounds, so we put one pound in the numerator over 16 ounces, which is going in the denominator. These units will cancel, and we end up with 14 times one pound over 16. So we just need to divide 14 by 16 we can figure this out. So let's set that up in long division format. So 14 divided by 16. And of course, what you're gonna to need to do is put a decimal point here, bring that up into the answer and put a zero. So now we have 16 going into 140 and that would go in eight times. Eight times 16 is 128. We can subtract here and we'll get 12. What we're gonna do is put another zero here, bring that down. So 16 will go into 127 times. Seven times 16, let's see, seven times 10 is 70, seven times six is 42. So this would be 112. Subtract, we're gonna get eight. Put another zero here, bring that down. And then 16 is gonna go into 80 exactly five times. 5 times 16 is 80. Subtract and we get 0. So we end up with 0.875 pounds. So 14 ounces is 0.875 pounds. Basically all we need to do now is multiply this by $3. Right, because it's $3 per pound. So we want 0.875 times three. So basically just ignore the decimal and do 875 times three. 800 times three is 2400. 70 times three is 210. So 2400 plus 210 is 2610. And then three times five is 15. So 2610 plus 15 is 2625. Then you have three decimal places between the factors. So this is going three places to the left. So we end up with 2.625, 2.625. And in terms of the problem, how much did Jason spend? Well, he spent, we say 2.625, so 2.6. If we have 2.5 here, you have to think about this in terms of money. If this was 2.5, really you'd have $2.62. You can't really have a half of a cent. So we would just round that up and just say $2.63. Okay, we would just round that up. Okay, it's, it's just very close. So it's not exactly 2.63, but again, it's, it's very close. So we're just going to use that answer. And to check this, again, Jason bought 14 ounces of spices for $3 per pound. So first we convert 14 ounces into an equivalent amount of pounds. So 14 ounces is equal to 0.875 pounds. Then we multiply that by three. 0.875 by three is 2.625. But in terms of the problem, because we're, we're dealing with a real world application here, you can't spend $2.62 and a half cent, right? Basically this number right here, this five presents a problem. So what we do is, we just round it up and say it's $2.63, right? We don't have 
coins that are in increments of half of a penny. So we have to say 2.63 or 2.62. But with the rules of rounding, since it's 2.625, we just round it up to 2.63. So again, he spent $2.63.